pick mama good pick. I'm probably describing these books very poorly. <laughs> And today I'm here with my August TBR. I have a total of seven books that my mom picked out because she's decided that she's picking all of my TBRs for the rest of the year. So this month she decided that she was going to spell the word August with the titles of the books and then also she picked one extra book because she knows I really want to read it. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book she picked was for A and it is Abomination by Gary Witta and this book actually sounds really cool. I honestly didn't even know I had this book because it was in my other room and she decided that she was going to pick books from that room as well and I just never go in there to pick books off of the shelf to read. It follows England's greatest knight who once saved the life of Alfred the Great and stopped an invasion of Vikings for an entire kingdom and it also follows a very fierce female warrior. Both of them are recruited to help kill these demons or beasts called abominations and then they end up falling in love and it's like the story of them fighting these beasts while also being in love and trying to deal with that jazz but it sounds really interesting i'm kind of intrigued i want to know what these abominations actually are the next book that she chose was for the letter u and it is ugly love by colleen hoover not 100 percent sure what this is about but i do know that it's about this girl named tate and a boy named miles and they decide that they both are very physical physically attracted to each other but they both don't want a relationship so it's like a no strings attached kind of sex thing. One of them ends up getting feelings for the other one and it becomes a huge mess. I feel like it could be interesting. It could also be very problematic so I'm intrigued to see where the story goes. I honestly have not heard a lot of people talk about this particular Colleen Hoover book so I don't really know what I'm going into but should be interesting, I guess. The next letter is G, and she chose Gilded Cage by Vic James, and this one also sounds pretty interesting. I'll read you guys the tagline. It says, not all are free, not all are equal, not all will be saved. A girl thirsts for love and knowledge, a boy dreams of revolution, and an aristocrat will remake the world with his dark gifts. Apparently, these aristocrats have magic abilities, and they enslave, like, normal people, and then this one sister who is one of the slaves wants to escape and she falls in love with one of the aristocrats but then her brother is like a slave somewhere else and he wants a revolution and it just sounds really interesting. The next letter is U again and this is a pretty popular book so I still have not read it obviously because I never read the popular books but it's fine. It's The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, and I don't think I need to give a synopsis on it since it's so popular but I'm excited because dogs. The next letter is S also another popular book is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I've had this trilogy on my shelf for over two years now so she saw it and was like you need to read this everybody's read this except for you and this is usually how it works with series and me my mom is like read it because everybody else is and you need to be part of the in crowd you know because she just wants me to have friends thanks mom appreciate you the next book i honestly have no idea what this is about but it is for tea and it's tasting fear by shannon mckenna i'm hoping that it's like a horror book but the back of the book just says blood will tell we're hoping it's gonna be a stabby stabby book but who knows? And then the final book is the one that I'm most excited about. It doesn't spell August because we already spelled August, but my mom really knew that I wanted to read this, so she picked it as like a bonus book, but it is Not Even Bones by Rebecca Schaefer, and it's been compared to The Savage Song meets Dexter, which I love both of those things, so I'm so excited for this. I need to read this, but she says that I have to read all the books in order this month, so like August and then the bonus book, so we gonna push through just so I can get to this book honestly because I need to read it. Alright guys so that is my August TBR. Not 100% sure if we're gonna get all of it done because still working full-time but I do have two weeks off in August because we have a down week of camp and then the last week of August camp's over so we might actually complete all the books. Let me know down below what you guys are reading this month and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>